Note, all items obtained in this video are after defeating the Pokemon League. Any items given to the player during the main story will not be included. On screen is a list of items we'll be obtaining in this video and the requirements needed to do so. You'll need to defeat all trainers in Pony Plains and have the Tauros ride. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now, which includes Resolution Cave. Starting on the south side of Pony Plains, you can talk to this trainer over here. He's the Route Kahuna, and you need to defeat all trainers in the route to be able to battle him. If you beat him, you'll get TM60 Quash. Then you can make your way around this Ace Trainer, and on the south side, you'll find a Carbost. Now, I'm switching to Tauros here because this is my least favorite route, and you have to be very careful dodging things that jump out of the trees and the grass and the sky and everything, but over here by this palm tree, you'll find a PP Max. Carefully maneuver your way over here without running into any wild battles, and make your way up into this desert part of the area. And watch out, there's flying Pokemon here and there. I'm doing some uh, tricky maneuvers here. Switch into the Tauros. Break all three of these boulders over here because um, you're going to need to make the space for them in just a little bit. The first one, you're going to jump off the path to the left. This will find TM24 Thunderbolt, one of the best TMs in the game, I believe. Jump off this ledge, and this time we're going to make a loop and do it again. Jump off that ledge, loop right back around. Definitely spray that repel, even though there's still Pokemon that can attack you. This time we're going to squeeze our way through here, jump off the first ledge this time, and find a star piece. Now we're going to make our way to the upper right-hand corner of this area. Um, again, carefully maneuver your way. I'm not even going to run with Tauros because there's a flying Pokemon, and then there's the the Raticate and or Gumshoes in that grass over there. So if you make your way over here, um, you'll find an X defense sitting on this little plateau area. Um, now we're going to make our way towards the Pony Meadows, which is uh, you can actually fly here. Uh, this area is a little better because there's not so many annoyances jumping out at you, but you're definitely going to still need your repel. First thing you can do is grab your purple nectar here. It respawns daily. Then you're going to make your way up this little curved, uh, naturally made ramp while sp spraying your repel still. Cross these vines over here and you're going to find a honey sitting up here um, in its own little area. Then you're going to continue forward this time, grab this other purple nectar that also respawns daily. And then keep going forward and cross these vines, pass through this grass, cross some more vines, and head downward. Over here you're going to find TM50 Overheat. Then you're going to make your way up, passing through this grass, crossing some more vines. Not very helpful instructions, but doing so, uh, you can come over here, this vine, up to this little area uh, island thing, and you'll find a power herb. Now we're going to go inside Resolution Cave, which is directly over here. Once you make your way in, you're going to need your Mudsdale ride to uh, cross over these bricks, or rocks, I mean. And um, over here, you're going to find an elixir. And then if you follow the south wall, you're going to find a hidden HP up. Now we're going to switch back to that Mudsdale, because this time we're going to pass the rocks downwards. And then we're going to switch to our Tauros ride. You're going to break through these bricks over here, and you're going to find TM26 Earthquake. Another one of the best TMs in the game. Man, they sure saved the good TMs for the end of the game. <laughs> now if you switch off your Tauros, you can't walk through this skinny path with... with with your Poke Ride, you can find a Terrain Extender, which is a pretty okay item for a competitive play. Now you make your way through this skinny pathway all the way down and make a right. You're going to enter the depth of Resolution Cave. Uh, this this part of the map is mimicked right off of X and Y's uh, cave. Uh, it's basically shaped like an X, so the first thing we're going to do is make a, the left bottom left pathway. It'll take you to a light ball which is a sphere shape huh now you make your way up here and this time you're going to make a left upper left and up in this corner we're going to find a adrenaline orb huh also sphere shaped then you're going to make your way back and this time we're going to go down to our bottom right and we're going to find a life orb also sphere shaped starting to notice a trend here and lastly, you're going to find a big nugget over here. That's a hint because the 
cave in X and Y has all of the orbs for uh, the Grissius orb and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and Techno's out.